Good evening, I'm Dylan Austin. And I'm Mackenzie Henderson. New at 10, this has been a year of events returning to the Tri-State. And one of those events is Ethan's Rodeo, an event that not only brings the Tri-States together for a weekend of fun, but also raises money for uh, and awareness for childhood cancer treatment. WGEM's Blake Salmon joins us live tonight from the Marion County Fairgrounds with more. Blake. Dylan in Missouri, Dylan, Dylan and Mackenzie, welcome to the Marion County Fairgrounds. They've just started the bull riding event here at Ethan's Rodeo. This is the last of Menezki is here behind me. It just started, the crowd is very into it. Now for the last 11 years, this event has been organized by David and Alicia Wyman. They were the parents to 11 year old Ethan, who tragically at four years old, passed away due to neurodasplastoma. That's a rare form of cancer that mainly affects children. They say when he passed away in 2009, they wanted to do something that would ease the suffering of, cho ease the suffering of children who were going through neuroblastoma treatments. We're doing it to raise money for research um, and, and do it in this way very specifically because, you know, it's, it's what he would have wanted us to do. Yeah. Ethan's dad and rodeo organizer David Wyman says Ethan was always a cowboy at heart. Like to wear jeans and boots and western shirts. Um, you know, he liked to go to rodeos for uh, when we did make a wish, he asked for a horse and we got him a horse. Now in the 11th year of the rodeo, Wyman says they've raised over $300,000 towards neuroblastoma research and is happy they're back this year to raise some more. It was a really hard decision to cancel last year and you know we felt it was the right thing at the time and we're, we're ready to go this year. He's not the only one ready to get back in the stands. It's just great. Great for the community. I have a great time. Food, beverage, everything's you know reasonable. Austin McGee says when his family first went four years ago, they didn't know the reason behind the event. Once we heard the story about it, it's how tragic it was, it drew us to it, and it, it just makes it feel a little personable. Wyman says there's still more work to be done, but... It's better now than it was uh, when Ethan passed away, so, you know, that's, that's how progress is made on the, those things, just a little bit at a time. Now, Wyman says the fun will continue here tomorrow. In addition to for the rodeo, they'll have some kids' activities such as a bounce house, as well as a petting zoo. Then, of course, the rodeo, and then live music both before and after the rodeo. Live from the Marion County Fairgrounds, I'm Blake Salmon. WG